Hey guys, it's Hetty, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, silent movie bit at the start. Um, I have a lot of wet medium like art supplies, and because of everybody's votes on the Art Addict Alliance poll last time, I couldn't use any of them, so thank you so much for that. But yes, anyway, today is another Art Addicts Alliance video, and as I just said, the theme is not really a theme, it's more you chose what art supplies we use, and dry mediums was chosen. Now I know a couple of people in the Alliance, this is like their specialty, so expect amazing things from them, but I am not very- well, it's not that I'm not good, I just prefer wet mediums to dry, and I don't actually have that many dry medium. I have pencil crayons, chalks, well chalk pastels, which I don't like using, and pencils. That's literally it. And I don't know if there's much more than that to be honest anyway, but I thought for this piece I would just stick with pencil crayons and using my pencils mostly because chalks and me do not get on at all. They are just too messy and dusty and not good if you're trying to do something quickly either. Not that pencil crayons are good for quick speed work either, for me anyway, but yeah. This piece really, really pushed me out of my comfort zone because I normally use watercolour or markers and so because of that I thought, you know, I'm going to stay in my comfort zone with the subject that I'm drawing and I've done one of my horned girls again and it's been a while actually since I've actually drawn a full horn girl piece and I have to say even though I didn't like using the medium I was I do like how it turned out it killed my wrist because that's why I don't use pencil grains all the time because it just puts a lot of strain on my wrist as you can see I have had to put my support on because otherwise I wouldn't be able to finish the piece at all and I'm only doing it a5 size instead of my normal a4 just to s again save my hand so I could actually carry on doing some form of work and move my hand the next day. But yes, let's get the normal announcements out of the way. The poll for the next month's theme will be in the description below, as well as the links to all of the other Alliance members and this month we don't have a featured artist, but if you would like to be a featured artist or we actually have some spaces open at the moment in the Alliance. If you are interested in joining us, so you can join in with these themes every month, then please send us a message over on our Facebook page, which is also linked below. And you never know, next month you could be one of us, or you could just be featured with us. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing all of your work, whoever wants to join. Um, but yeah. I really wanted to try and do that sort of little skit, I guess it's called, at the start because I want to try and do more interesting things like that in my videos and I've been playing with new intros as well, like I got the overlay at the start of the Alliance logo and I'm trying, like if I've got a series of pieces or like a series of works, like all the Alliance videos, then I want them to kind of have the same intro like my Sketchbook Sunday videos do. So I want them all, so you can tell that they're part of a series. And I'm not going to go back and change all the other Alliance videos that I've done, but from now on, I will be doing this sort of thing with the overlay. Probably not a skit at the start of each one, but yeah. That was fun, but also really horrible to record, because then I had to pick all of those pens back up. And I was going to throw away, like, just empty my whole marker case, and I was like, yeah, no, I only have a small bin, let's just get a handful. Just so I didn't have to pick them all back up afterwards. But yeah, um, I think my favourite part of this piece is probably the eyes, because the pencils I was using, the Prismacolor, they are really vibrant, and the blues are really, really nice. And I like the hair too, it's kind of a colour scheme I would have chosen even if I was using a different medium, so it kind of works. And sorry for that little bang just then, I just accidentally hit the desk. <laughs> but yeah, so if you want to know, I am using the Prismacolor Premier crayons. I think I have the 36 or something set, I don't know because they haven't been in their box since I bought them. 
well since I got them but yeah oh we're at the end of the video thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye